Okay, so this game um, I'm going to call like a carnival style cup knocking or knockdown. Carnival style knockdown is what I'll call it, title it. Um, but I think this could be a really fun um, game to play with somebody else. Um, maybe do it at table height like this. This is my dresser in my bedroom. Um, so I am going to start with six cups. You could use as many as you wanted if you wanted your tower to be bigger. So three on the bottom, then two, then one on top. All right. So there's a couple ways you can, different ways you can knock these cups down. Of course, if you're at a carnival, they're usually having you, um, you know, throw a ball at it and you get three chances to knock it down um, or you're um, throwing darts at the paint balls. Uh, remember the ones that are like big balloons full of paint. You're trying to splatter the paint onto the wall with the darts. Um, so um, there are different ways to knock the cups down, but in this video, we're going to use an elastic band. All right. So you could just use this elastic band. Um, the way that I've found it to work the best is if you wrap it around your dominant thumb, so I'm a righty on my right hand, and then just pull back and release. Um, you get a pretty good handle. So I've knocked down two cups there. Um, if you play carnival style, then you get two more chances to try to knock all the cups down. The bottom row is definitely going to be the hardest. So that would be my second try. And then my third try. Um, so the other way that you could use the elastic band to try to shoot at the cups um, is to kind of make a slingshot with the elastic band. So put it around your dominant pinky, um, like have it curled in like this, and then you would wrap it around your thumb to reach to your pointer finger. But it's kind of hard because you got to release from your pinky here. Um, I'm not sure that this way works the best. I kind of like the other way better. My second shot. And then my third. I got one down. Um, so if you played against someone else, you could set them up right next to each other. And you each got three chances. And whoever knocked down more cups would win. Or you could say that you get um, as many chances as you want in a certain time frame. I'd probably say like a minute would be a good amount of time to take as many shots as you want to try to get them all knocked down. Um, the other way that I think you could knock them down, I found some materials at my house, is through using, this is a half of a toilet paper roll that I ripped in, I mean a paper towel roll that I ripped in half, so it's a little bit longer than a toilet paper roll. But a toilet paper roll would work fine as well. And then a ping pong ball um, is about the size of the roll, if you can see. And for a challenge, you could blow through, blow the ping pong ball through the paper towel roll to get it to knock the cups over. So I tried this a couple times and it's actually pretty hard. <laughs> That was the best I've done. Um, so you blow it as hard as you can. Um, I would say a short breath is probably better than a long breath because I was trying to blow it with a longer breath. I wasn't really cutting it. Oh. Okay, so I'm getting better at it. Um, so you could also challenge yourself and try to... Um, Knock the cups down with a paper towel roll or a toilet paper roll and a ping pong ball. Um, so, carnival style knockdown. Carnival style cup knockdown is what I'm going to call this game. Um, something fun to do. Uh, I tried this on the ground and it was super hard because I was, even when I was sitting on the ground, I was still like at a higher angle than the cup stack. Um, so I think standing up during this game is definitely the way to go. Um, you want to find a space that has something safe behind it. So like a blank wall 
is definitely the way to go. You don't want anything to be behind your cup stack as you're trying to knock it down with an elastic band or a ping pong ball because you don't want to break anything that's behind it. Um, so a higher level surface, a blank wall behind it, and um, paper towel roll, toilet paper roll, ping pong ball, or elastic band, um, and a partner, I think would make it super fun.